first thing I like about Tushy is they come in a different box. So, you know, people are weird about bidets in America, and so this might be something that you don't necessarily want your neighbors to know about. There's a lot of little components and uh, little pieces that are very necessary and you only get one chance so make sure you read the instructions a couple times till you kind of figure it out and I think this video will help you understand a few things that made it hard for me the first time that I did this. Uh, I had to redo it twice just because I didn't pay enough attention to a few things. I'll show you a little later but you definitely want to make sure you turn the water off having a lot of the tools, even tools they say that you don't need, is nice to have because uh, depending on who did your plumbing or who set up your toilet, they might have tightened some things pretty heavily. Now this you just got to pop off the cap. I use a screwdriver. Um, there's all sorts of little things you could shove in here, but it's just a little cap with a little lock and you don't want to force it too much. And you just use a screw to get in there and underneath the screw is a little bolt. Most of them you can loosen by hand after you've unscrewed the top. So it might take a little work to get this off. So you can see there, there's the little bolt that was underneath. But it's great because most of the stuff you should be able to do with your hands with just minor tools, but it's pretty simple. So you take the lid off and then the water. Make sure you turn the water off and really tighten this. Now what I forgot to do right here is I didn't flush the toilet because even though the water was turned off, the toilet is full of water. So as soon as I loosen this up, you can see a lot of water dumping out of it. And uh, no matter when you turn the water off, if that tank is full, it's going to have water come out. Here comes a waterfall. Now this isn't sewage water, this is just water from your tank. The tank could be rusty or dirty, but it's never sewage or any type of bad water. It's, it's just water. Survival situations, you could even drink the water that comes out of that tank. It never Mm -hmm. touches anything or reaches any type of waste. So put that little cap, thread it through, and then push that on. It'll take a little bit of work. And then push the bolt right through. And that's kind of what seals it and keeps it tight. Now these need to be tight to seal, but if you over tighten them, they'll crack or pop. And you're just going to screw this on to where the water hose was before. And everything's going to basically go back to where it was. This is just a little in between to catch some of the water for the bidet or the tushy. So grab that hose that you just plugged in at the bottom and then you're going to take that piece off and thread it through the hose as well. Once you get it on, then you shove it on, and then you push it down and screw it. Then just put it down right to where the toilet seat goes. Put the seat back on it. Put the bolts in. And you can do this by hand. Helps just screw it back down again with the tool. They'll just make it tight. You don't want that too tight. Uh, if you have guests that are pretty heavy, they can snap your toilet and hurt your tushy. So just make it tight enough that it's firm, but don't crank on it too hard. Then you're going to turn the water back on, and you should be able to test it now. This, depending on your water pressure, can be pretty strong. And uh, I didn't realize that it could shoot this powerfully. So be gentle on yourself and That's your tushy. a little strong. What?